SFRC Online. In this video, I'm going to explain how to use an increment bore. The increment bore consists of three parts, your handle, your extractor, and your bit. Now, when assembling the bore, you want to make sure that you put the non, the, the side in first. You don't want the screw to go in first in case you damage it. And it's very important that you secure the clip. Now, when you're taking your sample, you want to, again, try and do this at 4.5 feet to be consistent with all your measurements. And it's important that you find a location between the bark plates in a, in a fissure. And for tiny people, particularly females, <laughs> you need to lean in order to get it going. Put your body weight into it so you could get it started. Once you get it started, it's pretty easy to keep going. You just keep turning and turning and you want to check to make sure that you get into the center of the tree. Now in order to make sure that it's center, you can measure with the extractor. And that looks like we're at our mark point. You want to insert the extractor concave down. Do a half turn, 180 degrees in the reverse direction. And then slowly take out your extractor and you want to have your palm under just in case some pieces come out. As you can see, you can count the early and late annual growth rings and that'll help you to estimate the age. And you can see here by the change in the pattern, that's where the center is. You always want to add on a few extra years since you're not really getting the rings from the early growth. Now a very important part is to make sure that you take this out as soon as possible once you receive your sample or else the sap will harden and make it very difficult to remove. Now we're going to talk about some common mistakes that can take place. When you have your extractor inserted concave down, the correct way is to do half a turn or 180 degrees. However, many people do a full turn, 360 degrees. This can damage your extractor on the tip. Another common concern or mistake is that while your extractor is insert inserted, the sap may cause it to stick and make it difficult to remove. So one trick is to undo your clip and then use your handle to pull out your extractor. In order to clean this, sometimes, you know, pieces of wood get stuck in the tip of the bit. You want to take this and insert it to make sure you get anything out. A key thing is you want to make sure not to insert it from this side of the tip. For These are easily damaged and they're quite expensive. They range from $150 to over $300. Now to reassemble, you just place the bit in first the extractor inside the bit as well as the handle. Screw in. And that concludes how to properly use and take care of the increment bore.